right, welcome back. It's Entrepreneurship Tuesday, and it's always awesome to have you, of course, uh, streaming in and looking at some of the things that we are bringing you on board. And of course, today I want us to talk so much about the cake industry. Well, over the past few years, it's a blooming industry, and it has seen it has seen several strides, you know, being advanced. And of course, quite a number of people have quit their ventures and, of course, their careers to join in into the industry. And to help us talk more about the industry, I have none other than Joyce Manyawa, and of course, we'll be looking at some of the things she has been making. We'll be having a look at them. Of course, I'm having them live on the studio. But before that, you can interact with us on our social media platforms. Of course, my Twitter handle is at KAlex. And of course, Y254 is our main Twitter account, Y254 channel. You can, of course, comment on our Facebook page. That is Y254. Karibu sana. Josephine Wanzila Shikuku. Thank you, Alex. Yes, yes. Have you ever been here before? It's my first time. It's your first time. Yes. All right, Karibu sana. Thank you so, so much. I want you to introduce yourself, the company, what you've been doing, and then we flow into it. Um, my name is Josephine, mm -hmm. as you have said. Um, I am a home baker. Right. I have been baking since 2014. Mm -hmm. Um, I started baking as a hobby, mm -hmm. just for friends and family, and because I love cake, right. so just make cake to eat. Mm -hmm. And then with time, I realized more people are coming in and saying, can I give you some amount, mm -hmm. you bake for me a cake. And with time, I started now selling cakes. Right. So we've been doing it uh, since 2016, mm -hmm. up to date. So you are the founder of J Cakes Dealer? Yes, I am. Since 2014? Yes. All right, uh, apparently I understand that you had to quit your career. Yes. Yes. Why would you quit your career to venture into your industry? Um, I, I, I must begin by saying that uh, I have a background in actuarial science. Mm -hmm. That's what I trained in. And uh, I had a passion to do medicine. All right. So I found myself doing a course and realized my passion was not there. Mm -hmm. So once I finished college, um, as I was looking for a job, I drifted into baking. All right. So uh, since my passion was not in actuarial, mm -hmm. I discovered cake. Where and did I you love get into actuarial <laughs> science and yet it was not your passion? <laughs> well, after I did my KCSE, mm -hmm. I had intended to pursue medicine. All right. So I missed out on the cut of points. Right. So I took the next best course, which is actuarial science. Uh -huh. So that's where now my passion was in medicine, but I did actuarial science. All right. You did mention that uh, you went after Kazi. Ah, yes. Before Kazi. you began this. <laughs> to uh -huh. um, from 2012 mm -hmm. I, I kept looking for a job for about two years mm -hmm. and I got my first temporary job in 20, 20 end of 2014 All right so it was quite a while mm -hmm. and uh, I I was already married and I had a, a daughter by mm -hmm. then All right. so I needed to get by so that's when I was selling cakes so you, you are a mother yes I am a yes. mother of two mm -hmm. uh, I have a daughter and a son five right. and two years old all right, so let's before we even talk about the JKX delights, let's talk yes. about. Um, you said that uh, before you even ventured into the industry, Ulika, for some few years before you got even an opportunity. Yes. So, how did it that you came to a point and you found like it's worth for me even to venture into this industry? Um, the first job I got, mm -hmm. um, I was earning very little compared to my expenses. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I looked at the cakes I was selling, and I really enjoyed it. So I just weighed my options and decided, let me do something that I love doing. Mm -hmm. I would not mind to wake up and do a cake right. than go to a job that I'm not passionate about. Mm -hmm. I think that was a turning point. And again, um, being a young mother, I needed to spend time with my 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 child <laughs> right and uh, baking gave me that option because mm -hmm. i could do it at the comfort of my home mm -hmm. and at the same time i would make ample time with my so baby. in the process of being a stay-at-home mother yes. you discovered you had a talent of baking yes you began in terms of giving your family and friends yes i did mm -hmm. and, and even in church i would right. bake for occasions i would just get the ingredients and bake for them mm -hmm. including family for the birthdays mm -hmm. and then now i i realized i could actually make a living out of this right yes so 2014 was the time that you launched out in terms of even your mm -hmm. company actually we we started the company around 2015 right. much later mm -hmm. yeah so 2014 was 
2014, I had started baking the cakes, Just at you home. know, for family. Uh-huh. But I had never thought of doing it as a business. All right. So by 2015, that's when we put ourselves out there. Mm-hmm. Now we got a name. Now we'd right. even, you know, tell more people mm-hmm. that we can do this. <coughs> and even now started doing wedding cakes. All right. By then. All right. Now, uh, I want us now to venture into Jake Cakes Delight. And apparently yes. you said uh, it began officially in 2015. Yes. Uh, where your passion is. That yes. is what you've been doing yes. so far because the industry is really booming up with quite a number of significant people now even quitting their careers as you have done personally. Yes. Why would people quit their careers in terms of taking their, 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 their something that they feel like this is what I'm into? Um, uh, th- recently, mm-hmm. uh, there has been more more publicizing of you know the culinary arts and other right. art mm-hmm. arts, and more people are appreciating them. S- and uh, the convenience of doing your own business at your own hours, sure. so you're finding more people venturing into such businesses. Mm-hmm. And uh, I would say the pay is good, right? <laughs> so it's you'd appreciating. Find, yes, right. and the hours uh-huh. because you can be able to plan your own hours. Mm-hmm. So I've seen many of my baker friends mm-hmm. leaving for more employment to start off on their own. All right. Yes. So what would be your advice if by chance someone is in the university thinking of a white collar job? Um, I think for those who know me, they know I'm a champion for, you know, these other jobs, not uh-huh. the formal jobs. All right. Because we have so many youths who are unemployed. Mm-hmm. The jobs are not forthcoming. And we keep waiting for a job. You know, that's how we've been brought up mm-hmm. to to not wait for a job. Mm-hmm. Actually, my mom still prays that I get a job. Really? <laughs> to date. <laughs> yeah, right. so I would tell the young people to embrace what you have. Mm-hmm. Each one of us, there is what God has placed in us or even in your environment. Mm-hmm. I never thought that mm-hmm. I would make a living out of cakes. It is wow. just something I loved to do. Mm-hmm. I love eating cakes. Mm-hmm. And uh, now I'm making something out of it. So right. if we can embrace it more, mm-hmm. Look at what you have inside mm-hmm. of you. Don't wait for that bank job, you know, that office job. And mm-hmm. start doing it bit by bit. All right. Yeah. Don't wait for that bank job. Don't wait for that collar hoard job. I love your sentiments on that. Sure. Now, uh, looking at the industry right now, it's quite booming up. Yes. With quite a number of people that are venturing into it. How is the, how is the, how is the demand and supply with such kind of a booming thing? And there is quite a demand for cakes, mm-hmm. especially custom made mm-hmm. right now. Um, the, with the rise of the social media, yes. there, are, there are, you know, there are so many designs and so mm-hmm. many flavors out there. So people are becoming more aware of what they want. Mm-hmm. And even in terms of quality, um, you know, people are more aware they want a fresh cake with, you know, butter and, you know, away from the traditional cakes mm-hmm. we used to know so that has increased the demand right. in in terms of uh, you know wanting cake and good cake all right which yeah. is that one cake probably from your customers that they feel this is the best cake the one that has ever been on demand um we usually have seasonal uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> seasonal popular cakes mm-hmm. like right now we have the lemon poppy which i've brought one today right. mm-hmm. that one is our best selling right now it's a right. lemon cake mm-hmm. with poppy seeds mm-hmm. and then we layer it with cream right that one we even do for the weddings mm-hmm. and we also have um sponge cakes mm-hmm. Like the one we've done today. Right. That one, if you want, you know, a cake that melts in your mouth and mm-hmm. it has a rich taste, mm-hmm. the ideal for birthdays. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the weddings. Yes. How many so far have you done since 2015? About 80 now. About 80. Yes. Wow, that's awesome. How <laughs> yes. has the trend been? Um, and how have you kept the consistency? Um, we love weddings. Mm-hmm. You know, just coming together with people who are coming together to build families. Mm-hmm. So we tend to do more. Uh, so we have been, you know, um, leaning towards doing more weddings over time. Mm-hmm. Um, right now we do about um, one wedding in a week. All right. And in the peak months we do up to three All in right. a week. Yes. So for you, you have to keep it as part of the, the, the clients want. Uh, we meet with the bride. Mm-hmm mostly mm-hmm. and then we hear what what is it that they have visualized for their wedding mm-hmm. and then we come up with a design sometimes mm-hmm. we do themed cakes sometimes we we go with their colors mm-hmm. we come up with a design for them all right let's have a look probably at this particular uh video that you have done uh yes. this one this full cake yes uh-huh. 
Um, that one we did it uh, on seventh. Right. That's last Saturday mm -hmm. for a bride. Oh, it was last weekend. Y yes, All right. on seventh. Mm -hmm. um, her theme was mint green and mm -hmm. hot pink with a dash of silver, mm -hmm. and she wanted something that she would see from where she seated. <laughs> you right. know, a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. So we came up with this. Well, so pro pro on, on presumption, yes. how would you rate the supply that is there in terms of the weddings and of other occasions? Like graduations, birthday parties? Um, weddings, nowadays more people are doing more weddings. Uh -huh. So I would say the, the, the demand for wedding cakes is much, much more mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And even on the occasion of cakes, people are celebrating occasions more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we do both. So for demand for both is quite high and significant yes. as per it is. Yes. All right. Um, let's take a look at uh, how things are happening. Because when we are talking about the trend that is there, the cake industry is significantly going up daily. And most people are venturing into it. Mm -hmm. What would be one of the advices to give someone who's probably sitting and saying, I want to begin the same? Um, I, would, I would advise them to, to take time to learn. Because personally, I just started without training. Right. And, uh, you know, figuring your way out took mm -hmm. time. And uh, there, um, there are several schools right now that can offer the training. Right. That would really help. And probably apprentice right. with somebody else who's doing the business. All right. You said you never went to any class. Yes. How did you venture in and doing all this? <laughs> and how do you even grow it's into It's an interesting it? story. Uh -huh. um, after um, high school, uh -huh. I went back to my former school for a job. All right. So she would call me to mix the cakes for her. And then, of course, I would be rewarded with a cake. Right. So she's the first person who trained me on how to, to bake a basic cake. Mm -hmm. Then now from there, I kept experimenting, coming up with recipes. Sometimes they backfire. Sometimes you improve on them. And I must say right now we have really grown. Mm -hmm. Now we have, you know, we specialize in custom cakes. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we pride in very little sugar in the cake, fresh and very delicious mm -hmm. yeah so we've built on that on t with time all right uh it's it's lovely how you began you know having been given basic basic uh, needs in terms of the baking how have you kept the consistency to your clients um what keeps us consistent is having you know a good product mm -hmm. that is one and uh, by the time we are giving out a cake we have tried and tried it out it's fail proof you know it is good. And then the, the consistency. Mm -hmm. Whatever you order today, you will get better, All right. if not the same. Mm -hmm. And keeping that relationship. We have had clients coming back over right. about five years now. Mm. And then now keeping that relationship. The customer relationship is very important. Mm -hmm. So that has kept us going. Wow, customer relationship is very vital and that's your sentiment. Yes. And it's quite <laughs> important that even uh, young entrepreneurs to note that. Mm. Uh, well, uh, how, how, what was the reaction when you told your husband you went to quit your career and venture into this? Um, at first, he was not very amused <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> because he always tells me that I have so much potential uh -huh. to pursue academics and mm -hmm. be what I would want to be. But uh, one time he just took a record of the cakes I was selling. Mm -hmm. And then he told me, wow, you know, you sold about 70,000 this month. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked myself. Mm -hmm. So he started supporting me. That was before I got my equipment. So he went and took some money mm -hmm. and bought me now equipment. Right. So he, he became very supportive. Mm -hmm. And he's usually behind our branding and all that. He's very supportive. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. pr probably someone, when you mentioned about equipment, probably someone is, is, is seated at home thinking like, I need like more than 300,000 to begin my bakery. What would you advise probably someone, Manyana, and like, it's too big for me. How did you begin yourself? Do you begin with mega equipment or you just started little? Uh, I actually began by selling, you know, that individual cake, mm -hmm. 2,000, and I buy a piping bag. Right. So with it's time, I kept, business. I kept, yeah, I kept growing, and I usually advise everyone who comes, even for training, because mm -hmm. I do train, that uh, you keep pay pay yourself and set aside some money to buy equipments, because cake equipment can be expensive, but you can build on with time. You buy as you go, mm -hmm. and uh, the important, the most important equipments that you need, you need an oven and a mixer. Mm -hmm. And uh, those ones, the commercial ones, cost around 100000 mm -hmm. 
Right. Yeah, so with that one you can be able to go, but I would not tell somebody, you know, just stay back because you don't have money. Start small mm -hmm. and grow yourself as you go, as I did. So the prime thing that are needed in terms of making cakes is an oven. An oven and, and, a, a, mixer. and a mixer. These two, you must have them. Those ones you must have. Yes, yes. I've seen people, you know, doing the, the hand one. Yes. And what do you, did we did, we did see, really give us the same product? Yes, it does. Mm. I started with a Mwiko. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you began with the Mwiko, then all the way now to even yes, how have the, the bigger the, equipment. The most important thing is no, the, you know, the science behind the baking. All right. The equipment will mm. give you the result if you know what you're out to achieve. Yes. Yeah, so you start with what you have. Mm -hmm. Yes. Awesome. You mm. start with <laughs> what you have. Yes. That's nice. So now I want us to talk about the cakes that you have brought in today. Uh, this seems like blueberry. Yes, it is. Yes, tell us about blueberry. Um, I've done a sponge, mm -hmm. a sponge cake, mm -hmm. and then it has layers of blueberry filling right. and whipped cream, and the white around it is a chocolate cage. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a very moist cake. All right. Um, this other one is a lemon poppy pound cake. Mm -hmm. It's a lemon cake with um, poppy seeds, mm -hmm. and then it's it has layer whipped cream, mm -hmm. and then the dripping chocolate. It's called ganache. All right. Yes. Let's talk about the duration of time that you took to prepare just this one blueberry cake. Uh, that one takes about 40 minutes to All bake. Right. To full completion. To bake and oh. then uh, completion plus baking around two hours. All right. So roughly four. Two hours. In two in, hours. In full and everything else. Yes. So two hours are more than enough for you to just prepare a cake and dispatch to your client. Yes. Do you do delivery? Yes, we do. All right. Yes. So from home? Yes. To anywhere? We are based in Loakabete. Mm -hmm. So for the occasional cakes, mm -hmm. like birthdays, graduations, we do deliver within Nairobi. Mm -hmm. For wedding cakes, we deliver even up to up country. All right. Yes. Free? Up country, of course, you have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, there to come to But eat. the other cakes you deliver free within mm -hmm. Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, how much would this cost? Uh, the very one. That one is two thousand five hundred for how a kg. kg? Or oh, this, this for a kg is two. Two thousand five hundred. All right, twenty five hundred. Yes. Yes. Going all the way up. Uh, for a kg is two thousand five hundred. Mm -hmm. This other one is two thousand. All right, all right, yes. all right, all right, all right. Mm. Let's talk about now going back to the to the to the to the charges. If by chance someone came to you and wanted to do cakes for a wedding, yes, the rough estimation that you'd give them. Uh, normally, that would depend on like the number of guests you're working with, right. but on average, we we charge from a thirty thirty five thousand for around three hundred guests. Mm -hmm. So depending on the size, the design, and also the flavor, the price would vary. So what determines? What determines the price? The flavor. The flavor. Mm -hmm. The design. The design. Also, the number of guests. All right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and also some of the decorations that you put on them. All right. So a custom made. For example, there's a cake we had done that had uh, a tree mm -hmm. and the apples on the side. Mm -hmm. That's a theme cake. That one would cost more than the regular round cakes with flowers. How, how do you make a tree a, from a, a cake of a tree cake? <laughs> that one would need a structure. All right. So you come down, we come up with a structure uh -huh. to support the cake because now that will be, you know, defying gravity. So you come up with a structure, then I input the cake. Then the leaves and the flowers, those ones we craft them by hand. All right. So even the part of the design people will eat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's, 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 it's called now the, the part of the now, the one who's baking the cake to know what to do and what to use. Yes. It's what is with the kind of idea that you have and bring it on board. Yes, we put it now into, you know, we execute the idea mm -hmm. and we make sure now we make it as edible as possible. Apart from the structure, all the other items are edible. All right, I, I mm. love the way you mentioned that. And Ali had mentioned about the social media and its impact uh, yes. towards your business. Which media, social media primarily have you ventured into? Mostly we have used Facebook mm -hmm. and uh, WhatsApp. So on Facebook, we post the cakes that we have. If we have offers, mm -hmm. then we interact with our clients. Um, we also post on the groups and on the timelines. Mm -hmm. Then on WhatsApp, we keep in touch with our clients. Mm -hmm. We update them on uh, the offers we have, the new mm -hmm. flavors. And we also book cakes through WhatsApp. Yeah, so mostly we've used Facebook and WhatsApp. So if by chance I want to book via WhatsApp, you still, is there anything like deposit? 
because what's up people are doing it anywhere and everyhow yes mm-hmm. normally we ask for about 50% mm-hmm. and then the the rest of the amount is put on delivery mm-hmm. yes so for you doing it is not just about like dispatching it has to be quality yes we ensure every cake is custom made All right. and it's good quality mm-hmm. <laughs> yes that's that's amazing and uh if by chance you are to look at the industry and the persons that are into it how would you gauge in terms of your company and its growth in the next few years uh we have a plan to be to be renowned in the region right for making custom cakes region that is east africa and beyond and beyond all right yes. <laughs> all right we huh. want to be known for making custom mm-hmm. design cakes mm-hmm. yeah handcrafted mm-hmm. in the next in the next like two years mm-hmm. we want to be on the map so we want to make delicious cakes and unique designs all right yes that one cake that you ever made and you felt like this one was amazing what was it which one was it um there is one we made recently uh-huh. um the one that had a tree and the apples um we came up with a theme with the mother of the bride right. she wanted uh, the fruits of Here the spirit is. yes right. mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah so we came up with the idea of a tree mm-hmm. and then the fruits were the nine the nine so the holy spirit in the all bible right. all right all right all right <laughs> I, i must say i was very excited to mm. do that and mm. the bride it was a surprise mm. the bride was very excited about it so who, who, had choos- who had chosen the design um the mother of the bride came up with a theme all right and then i did the design work uh-huh. yes so uh, uh these leaves are they still custom made yes they are edible we make right. every single leaf then now you you, you join them, them together even the little apples there and everything is edible all right yes. that's amazing that's amazing that's my see. favorite so far all right <laughs> <laughs> the one that you felt for really 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 have done the best yes. for this one yes. wow that's awesome mm-hmm. and of course asking of the best is always that one that you feel like any mm-hmm. hapa mm-hmm. which one was that um we had a cake that we did that was a naked cake all right and uh, the bride insisted we set it up outdoors and it was very hot mm-hmm. so after some time the cake started sliding <laughs> so it was not uh, a very nice experience but we were able to remedy it mm-hmm. and by the time she was cutting the cake was still intact in fact oh. she, she didn't even realize that mm-hmm. so we learned from that and we we now do if we do naked cakes we do them indoors right. because of the weather mm-hmm. yes awesome that's amazing and i'm loving what i'm seeing right now that's the cake that you have managed to do and it's quite amazing Thank so you. what are you trying to venture into probably after now you, this is quite a blooming one and you are really making good strides and it's quite something amazing what's the next thing that you're looking forward into in the business yes um um i have a plan to upgrade my skill All right to do the the custom designs mm-hmm. more into sculpting mm-hmm. and uh, the sugar craft All right yeah that one is in the pipeline mm-hmm. i'm also planning to go back to school oh. i believe <laughs> <laughs> All right uh-huh. I, be, i believe we have so much potential that god has given us mm-hmm. so i intend to go back to school sometime next year All right to venture into I want to pursue medicine. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> It's another of my passions. All right. Yeah, so I will be joining in September next year. So you are not satisfied actually we not settle down with what already you have. You want to venture into something uh, Not bigger. yet. All right. Yeah, I feel like I can do more. <laughs> so far you ca- you still have kids so you want to quit stay at home activities? Yes, my my last born is going to school in January. All right. Yeah, so I I'll have more time on my hands mm-hmm. and I believe I can do more. I can go to school and still pursue this. Wow, awesome. <laughs> That's amazing and I'm really happy to see this because uh we believe that investment and even the bigger mind of an entrepreneur is to see that if you achieved something then you m- must go for something bigger than what you have already yes. achieved. Mm-hmm. What does who has, who's who's that one person who inspires you a lot in terms of entrepreneurial field? that one person that you feel like and um say nikimangalevi ama in the cake industry you feel like and this is quite a good one um uh, in the cake industry there is a local baker mm-hmm. she's called Beatrice right. of Joy Bells Cakes mm-hmm. um she inspires me because she does very nice custom designs right. and she has really grown over the years mm-hmm. 
um, there's another international baker. Mm -hmm. He's called uh, the Cake Boss. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would want to get to that level. All right. He does also very good work. Mm -hmm. Yes. You want to also to hit the international mark? Yes, I want uh -huh. to achieve that. All right, that's yes. amazing, and it, mm -hmm. it's always nice. And uh, so probably can give up some of the cakes that you make. Probably some of the varieties that you do, and events that you do also. All right. Um, we do. We also do event planning All right. uh, for weddings, and then on the cakes we do wedding cakes. We also do corporate cakes, birthdays, graduations, and all occasion cakes. Mm -hmm. Yes. In terms of the flavors, we have the sponge cakes, All like right. the blueberry one we've done today. We have the black forest, white mm -hmm. forest. We have quite a number. <laughs> All right. That's amazing. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. you're making quite good strides in it. But Thank now you. I have a question. Yes. Apparently, it's a simple one, and I know you love it. And it's something that mamas usually do even at home. Have you ever thought of joining a chama and one of the impact? Probably if you have ever been one. I'm actually in one. <laughs> You're already in one. All right. Yes. Uh -huh. um, when I started baking, mm -hmm. um, would get a challenge. You want to get funding. And because you are not in formal employment, it would be a challenge to get funding. So I got introduced to Achama, mm -hmm. where we do table banking every right. month. Mm -hmm. um, we come together, give contributions. Works like circle but right. it's just among a few women about 15 of us mm -hmm. and we've been able to grow in the last like four years right. and we get loans mm -hmm. there at, uh, at around one percent interest right. and so get you come gather give your money yes. you save within yourself yes or among us yourself among us ourselves mm -hmm. so we have savings every month and there are also loans in advance you know you can get a loan repay over a certain period of time it's not the usual merry-go-round right. and uh, we have been able to grow so much mm -hmm. because like right now we get loans up to you know two hundred thousand, mm -hmm. and it's among 15 of us mm -hmm. so i would say it has really helped me to grow uh -huh. yes do you think our generation we are accepting the chamas do you think it's time that we embrace them I'd say it's speaking a bit, but we need some discipline. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just give us probably some, some of the things you feel like we need to address. On the chamas, yes. uh, basically it's just the discipline. Mm -hmm. um, you need to know that uh, you know you save this money and mm -hmm. have a goal. Mm -hmm. Now most people would want to take the money and get off the greed and not pay back right. but once you have um the goal mm -hmm. like where am i saving then you would be able to to have the discipline awesome mm. words from of course josephine you know save and we have a lot of discipline and of course we cooperate for rudisha pesa it's just <laughs> a matter of taking and running away with it rudisha pesa and those are just some of the comments that uh josephine has made of course she is the founder of j kicks delights and she has shared her story and it's just an amazing of those people that are doing entrepreneurial field things and we appreciate as y254 appreciate your feedback keep interacting with us of course our social media platforms of course are y254 on facebook y254 channel on twitter and of course our sms line is 20154 starting with the word y254 keep it y254 we are coming up to conclude the show big up we appreciate <laughs>